This question is a very interesting force balance equilibrium question, which on first glance looks jolly hard, but when you actually look into it and just put one foot in front of the other, it becomes really rather easy. So this question demonstrates the virtue of just drawing a diagram and trying to figure out where to make a starting point and then the way forward becomes clearer as you go okay so we've got a five kilogram hanging flower pot which is suspended from a ceiling it's caught in a strong wind gust on a windy day the wind gust is horizontal and it exerts a force of g over three on the flower pot Find the tension T newtons in the wire suspending the flower pot from the ceiling. Express your answer in the form G root U over V where U and V are positive constants. Well, what have we got here guys? This is the ceiling. Here's our flower pot, pretty funny looking flower pot. Here's the tension in the string suspending it to the ceiling. And here's our wind gust pushing it to the right. There's the wind, okay? and that force is G over three. So we've got to find this tension in this wire here, okay? Now, what I would recommend is, okay, draw a diagram with all the forces, all the forces, and draw them in the traditional looking way. That looks a bit off-putting with that force sort of pushing that way. We usually draw the forces acting through the center of gravity, don't we? So why don't we do that for a start to try and unmystify this question? So I've drawn the, the tension force there. I've drawn the G over three acting and emanating from the center of gravity. And I've drawn the force of gravity here, five G. Now the difficult part about this question is that there's no angle anywhere. And you think, oh my goodness, how am I supposed to work this out if there's no angles? Well, guys, you just draw in an angle and call it theta. And that'll give you a starting point and you'll be amazed at how the question then becomes clear as you go. That's a really neat trick. So I've drawn an angle theta in here to the horizontal just so that I can try and resolve things into horizontal and vertical uh, force components and I just want to see where it takes me. There must be an easy way out of this, okay? So let's go with it. The flower pot is in equilibrium and therefore the sum, that means that's a Greek capital sigma, which means the sum of all forces, the vector forces of course, must equal zero, okay? Resolving into the horizontal and vertical force components, we get the following. The sum of all the vertical forces, that is the vector forces in the vertical direction must equal zero and therefore that gets us. Now if you look at it, uh, we've got T sine theta is an up, yes, and that equals the down. The up equals the down. So T sine theta equals 5G. I don't get into all the I's and J's and all that stuff. It just, it just confuses me. So I just go up equals down. Simple as that. Now, the sum of the horizontal forces, that is the vector forces in the horizontal direction, also must equal zero because the thing's in equilibrium. Therefore, T cos theta, that is... That is this force, uh, where are we? This force here, pushing to the left, must equal the force pushing to the right, which is g over three. Now, we've got two simultaneous equations, two unknowns here, guys. It's easy to solve this. Uh, the question is how do we go about solving it? We want t, don't we? So what I did was, I thought, hmm, well, I'll basically divide equation one by equation two which gets me an elimination of t in that process. And therefore I just get sine over cos, which is tan, tan theta equals 5g over g over three, which gets me 15. Well, that's pretty interesting because if I know what tan theta is, I can use what I call the magic triangle to work out sine and cos as needs be, see? So we know, of course we know by looking at this thing that theta is an acute angle. It's got to be between uh, 0 and 90. It doesn't make any, other, any sense any other way. Uh, and therefore we know that sine and cos would also be positive because you, because you would be dealing with quadrant 1 here, guys. Yes? Now, watch the magic triangle and the magic of the magic triangle. Now, theta is here. Tan of theta is 15. So I can write that as 15 over 1. And I can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the third side. 
Now, the square on the third side will be 15 squared plus 1 squared. 15 squared is 225. If you want to square a number ending in 5, right, this is a little bit of a segue for you, take the 5 and turn that into 25, then take this next digit here, this tens digit, and multiply that digit by the next integer digit more than what that one is. So 1 more than 1 is 2. So you take the 5, make that into 25, and then put the other digit I just conjured up, the 2, in front of that, and you get 225. That's how it is, 225. Try that. It's really, really nifty. So, okay, the square on the hypotenuse would be 226, and therefore the hypotenuse would be square root of 226. Now, I'm armed with all the information I need now, guys. So basically, what I can say is that sine of theta must be opposite over hypotenuse, which is 15 over root 226, and it must be positive. So therefore, what I can now do is I can substitute that into, say, equation 1, uh, to get t, because t will then be the only unknown. Nifty, huh? So equation 1 was t sine theta is 5g from earlier. I'm substituting sine theta is 15 over root 226 into that, and I'm getting that. Now I'm just going to rearrange it to get t. And there it is. Uh, I can simplify that a little bit. The 5 will cancel into the 15 three times. So I'm left with t is g root 226 over 3. And that's our answer. Put a box around it. Just reread the question before you leave it. Make sure that you've answered it in exactly the way they have requested of you. Uh, I, I looked back and I checked, do I need to specify what U is and what V is? And no, they didn't ask me to do that, so I'm not going to do that. You never give them any more than what they ask for, guys. And there's our answer. So, wasn't that marvellous? So, have fun with that. Do it again without my prompting and without my help. Make sure you can do it, and we'll see you soon.